Uh, welcome to my video. I am showing off my awesome 63 15 window deluxe S split window walkthrough that is pretty dang rare and it's in great condition compared to a lot of split buses out there. At any rate, I want to show you that um, here's the engine compartment. I want to show you the VIN. All right, clearly stamped. Battery is new. Um, what else can I tell you about this thing? It's a, from what I understand, the, uh, the previous owner said it's a 1600 dual port. There's the number right there, E57 something something. Shows it's a 71 bug motor. And uh, it has, I think, 88 or 89 millimeter pistons. I don't remember, which brings it up to a 1679. Stock is 60 horsepower, so maybe this will get up to 65. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, any little bit of help, any bit, a uh, little bit of horsepower will help. Uh, so what else can I show you? There's no rust in here. That's dirt, that brown stuff you're seeing. Uh, there's the stock gas tank. Unfortunately, the sending unit does not work. And to fix the sending unit, you have to pull the motor. Um, so. What I did, well, I was planning on pulling the motor anyway so I can change out the suspension. And I was going to put a bay window tank in there. Um, and also I was going to cut an access hole. I have a kit for that that's specifically made for these split buses uh, where in case the sending unit goes bad again, you can easily replace it without having to pull the motor. Uh, let's see, so this is the stock mouse gray color that you see. Um, but it has been painted on the outside some kind of 90s General Motors teal. I do have some extra paint in case you want to match it uh, or touch it up. And I do have some extra silver as well. I think that's an, also a GM silver of some kind. Uh, let me show you a little bit underneath. All right. Pretty clean. There you go. Uh, let me start the motor up. Uh, let me show you that it is cold start. So let me put my hand on the intake port there. Show you that um, it is definitely cold. All right. It has been converted to 12 volt, just to let you know. So let me do a little start on it. Hopefully I have the keys in the ignition. Yep. Okay, here we go. Let's see, let's do a little pump. Whoops. <laughs> Helps if I had the clutch in. Let me take it out of. <laughs> Let me uh, take it out of gear. All right, that's better. There's no neutral safety switch on this thing. All right. All right, not bad for a cold start. Uh, the radio works, but uh, I did disconnect the rear speakers because the way of this wiring was all over the place. The previous owner had an aftermarket amp sitting behind here, behind the driver's thing, and I just ripped all that crap out. I didn't want that ugly amp back there. Uh, we'll go back to the back of the bus in a minute, but I wanted to show you the insides here. Um, so, let's see. This is the wipers, single speed, but I have a two speed wiper motor and switch that I was going to include in it. Uh, this is the lights. I'll just leave those on just so I show that it works. This is the hazard switch. Now I was gonna replace this with the 66 hazard switch because I like the way it looks and um, uh, I think it's just cooler. At any rate, so I included that 66 only switch. It's red that lights up. And then I could finally get rid of the last remaining white button. As you can see, other than the clock radio, which I was going to replace anyway, um, all the handles and everything that was plastic was switched out to metal. I think metal looks better, unless you're going for 100% stock restoration. I think the billet and the chrome just looks so much better. It doesn't look so darn cheap. Especially against the silver and teal background. I think the billet aluminum looks 
great. Um, let's see here. I even put some billet aluminum knobs there for the seat adjuster and the heater uh, vent. So let's see here. Um, let me turn up the radio to show it works. It's not the most recent radio, um, but uh, at least it works. And like I said, it sounds killer if you were to hook up the rear speakers, but I haven't got around to rewiring those. I just didn't like how ugly it was the way he had it before. Uh, the previous owner installed the headliner. I think he did a good job. Uh, look at that uh, little vent, aluminum vent. No, that's actually hard to find. And this billet one, really hard to find, only available in England. And I got this from England too. Nice little cubby hole you could put your papers in or something. Uh, and then of course the light works here. And then the backlight works. Um, and of course these all pop out, you know. They may be a little stiff since it's been sitting there for a while, but they do pop out. Oh, I'll mess with that one later. Uh, so what else can I tell you? There's the church key for the gas lid. This is the defrost diverter thing here. Look at that, I even got an aluminum tip for the emergency brake handle. Um, I do have all of the factory plastic knobbies and things, but um, I think it just looks better with the chrome stuff myself. Little extension thing here. It's gonna change the knob to something else, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, let's go around towards the front. There's the headlights. Working. Groovy Greta. Oh, I'm gonna miss Greta. Yeah. Telefunken. Of course, this would have to be relocated for the safaris, obviously, because you gotta put the one-eyed duck here. So this probably would have to get moved over here somewhere. I put on brand new harp mirror holders, brand new mirrors. Uh, the passenger mirror is actually convex, so that's cool. Uh, you probably noticed in the ad that I have the NOS factory rubber inserts for these, so that's really cool. Um, I was planning on having this chromed and buying a chrome rear bumper. Uh, the reason why it has no rear bumper, like I said in the ad, is it had a 65 pointy style and uh, it just didn't look quite right. So I took it off and you can get a nice chrome one for about $400. All right, so it's got a lot of tread on these wheels, but I was gonna replace them anyway. I mean on these tires. It's got the deluxe trim. Uh, the roof is very straight, no dents or nothing in it. It's got the jail bars. It's got the any vents that was new for 63. And um, I actually bought those chrome trims that you stick on, stick on here. I think it looks cool, even though it didn't come that way. It was only with the Audi vents. But, uh, you know, you can't tell from afar. Uh, and I think they're cool. So they're included, brand new, have installed them. Now there's the running motor. Let's see. All right. I think she runs awesome. And look at that. If you're in Washington, you can keep this plate. If you're going to buy this bus out of state I'd like to have this this back if you don't mind since you're not going to use it uh, what else is going to tell you uh, let's push this back in and this is the the hatch there's two adjustments real high and low high let's see so this just goes down I know this is not the factory uh, lid handle thing for a 63 but it works great and it kind of matches the the hatch so you know you can always change it out no big deal uh, let's walk around over here as you can see no dents no scratches again the roof is in great condition let's open up the cargo door whoops I forgot to lock this one all right there you go 
It's definitely not the factory uh, uh, upholstery or door panels, but I think it looks pretty good considering. And um, you can probably wonder what the heck are these things? Well, these are Land Rover Discovery jump seats. And uh, I was planning on putting it on these brackets where you can slide it slide out and even remove them easily remove them and um, it's really cool because then you know you can fold these down right and just hang them like that ain't that awesome and then you can fold them up and then you can like remove them anyway I was gonna plan on doing that and installing that table right there and uh, I wasn't just I wasn't going to use the middle seat, except for maybe car shows or something. But I think, I don't know if I was going to install the passenger one. At least the driver's side one, because I think that would be cool having a little picnic in here with that table that you saw in the ad. Uh, so here is the other cargo door. As you can see, this is not a Brazilian. Look at that. That's a big giveaway. For one thing, there was no such thing as a Brazilian uh, walkthrough. And of course, there's so many things you could tell that's not a Brazilian. For, for one, the clock, right? Of course, that could easily be cut out. Walk through the low hinges on the cargo door. And then this right here, this cargo door handle. On a Brazilian, it's kind of like the old style with the barn door. And then the headlight buckets. The headlight buckets on a Brazilian are square like the old style, pre-63. These are round. Only the Germans had the round ones. Uh, let's see, so here, the guy had some big subwoofer on here. I yanked that crap out of here. Still got the, the heat tube. Uh, those are all the extra parts. And here is, like I shown you in the picture, is there is the uh, Safari kit. And um, this is just a bunch of parts that I already showed to take pictures here. This is those speaker enclosures that you know you don't have to use them if you don't want to and um, so just look inside the headliner looks pretty darn good huh right Let's see does this one open some of these are just really stuck good because they haven't been open forever anyway you get the idea uh, let's do let me shut everything off here oh see that even this thing is chrome metal not plastic I think it looks great and of course a grab handle here's the other side of that vent right got to have a walkthrough I don't care what you have unless it's an old barn door or pre-59 or 58 walkthroughs is where it's at um, let's show in here All right, these slide nice. Of course, this works fine. Gotta press it. Uh, like I said, those are convex. That's a convex mirror. Uh, again, that that clock is actually from an old Mercedes. Um, but uh, I like the look of it better than the, uh, the factory one. And this bezel. Is from the stock Volkswagen bus. Radio's not hooked up. Um, let me just shut this off. Let me just shut the whole thing off. All right. And um, these are the walkthrough seats. It's done pretty nice. I mean, it's not completely factory correct. And see, under here, let's see here. Here's the M code plate. Looks like I got a bunch of overspray. I scraped off a lot of the paint because it was really thick, couldn't see the numbers. And um, hey, everything matches the birth certificate. Show that it was true. Oh crap, I'll deal with that later. Uh, that it's a true 15 window German walkthrough with six pop-out windows. And uh, let's go underneath. Hold on. Okay, you can see that these jack uh, support things are new. The previous owner replaced them. Um, that one didn't have to be replaced. And 
it's really rust free in here. The only rust that's really problematic, I would say, is this cross member here. That's the only rust really on this dang thing, thing here. All these other ones, I thought that was rust hole, but that's just paint because it just got heated up when the um, guy was welding. All right, uh, but uh, yeah, so you don't need to replace this whole cross member. I would just get a replacement cross member for 20 bucks and then just cut this out and re-weld it. You know, you don't have to do any kind of paint matching or anything like that. It really easy repair, but everything else looks really good. I think it's been in Kansas all its life, right? And if it hasn't been hit by a tornado, they don't get a whole lot of rust there. Nothing like these East Coast V-dubs. Or even Northwest where I am at that's been sitting out. Um, brakes have been, you know, the brake hoses is newish, I guess. Um, but the motor is awesome. Great. And, um... Like I said, I was gonna replace all that drivetrain anyway, except the engine. Oops, sorry for my finger there. I'm underneath the car here. Let me go underneath here some more. All right, here's the front axle. Again, I don't see much rust, if any. There's the front. Look at that, that is the factory front uh, apron. So often that's either dented up or rusted but that apron man that's what you want <laughs> you want a stock it just show, goes to show how nice and rust free this bus was okay and hopefully my battery doesn't die here I like to show it all in one shot okay that's enough for the underside here's the rear seat the top of the rear seat is new the bottom came with the bus. The guy used to store transmissions uh, in that bus after it was dropped off by the church people and he had no use for the top part of the seat so I had to buy that. But this is the, the rear seat.